The change of command is a deep root of military tradition dating back to the 18th century. It continued this morning as Shepard Air Force Base handed over the reins of one of its training wings to a new leader. Dylan Jimenez attended the change of command ceremony and spoke with a new commander. With the final salute, Colonel Mitchell J. Koch relinquishes command of the... And passing a flag, Colonel Mitchell Koch relinquishes command of the 80th Flying Training Wing to Colonel Jeffrey Shulman. We're really excited to be in Wichita Falls in Texas. Previously, Colonel Shulman was the deputy commander at the Kunsan Air Base in the Republic of Korea. This is his second stint in Texas, being stationed in Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio. I did my F-16 initial training in Lackland. And then I was an introduction to Fidel Fundamentals instructor and did some staff time at Randolph in San Antonio. He says as a cadet, he wasn't smart enough to be a part of NJEP, the Euro nato Joint Jet Pilot Training Program. But after 21 years served, 170 combat hours, and over 2,200 hours in fighter aircraft, it's a full circle moment. I'm excited to... Uh, to, to learn more about the mission, learn more about the people, and, and take the wing uh, forward. I'm far from perfect. I've got a lot of failures in my career, um, but I've learned hopefully from each of them, and then hopefully I can pass that down to the people below me so they can be better than I was. As conflict in the Middle East and Ukraine heats up, Shulman is ready to train leaders for NATO partners. We're not just making people that can fly airplanes with left hand and right hand. We're making future leaders that are going to fight and win our nation's wars. And with his first salute, huh! Shulman is ready to serve his wing. Dylan Jimenez, KFDX 3 News.